Hello artists. We are going to continue our lesson on Alma Thomas in color field painting. I have provided you with some examples of her work and it's completely up to you as to how you would like to approach this picture. But the goal is to fill the entire rectangle of the plane of field um, that you are working within. If you choose to do a circular design, that's fine. You just have to extend it all the way to the edge or come up with a way to fill the sides that isn't just painting it in and filling it. You need to stick with the idea of the short um, brush strokes that she uses in all of her color field pictures. So what I'm gonna use today is a different brush. This brush is a six. So it's still got our nice kind of rounded um, tip and it's going to be great for doing some sideways um, um, lines and shapes. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to activate my paints by putting some nice clean water in the colors that I think I am going to use. I'm actually going to, um, after looking at many of Thomas's work, I am going to try to recreate and put a spin on my own version of her beautiful landscape drawing of a mountain with a sunset or sunrise in the background. So using some of these colors, I'm just gonna get them wet, get them activated, clean water in all of those, and then let that clean water start to work in there. All right, I'm gonna show you how you make these brush strokes as soon as we can get these going. So think about looking at her work, you know, which ones you like the most, which one of her pictures do you want to try to recreate. And what's lovely that I can tell you about the future of this, what you know, you're going to end up with is something really beautiful you'll probably want to hang up. So make sure you're giving some thought to the colors you want to use and your design. Stray away from using any black or brown. Even if some of her examples have that, it tends to make you're painting very dirty when you're using watercolors and she didn't necessarily use watercolors, but that's what we have to work with. So my advice would be stay away from the black and brown because it's going to um, kind of tinge your work and make it a little bit uh, dirtier looking. If you're using acrylic or tempera paints, it'd be better to use those colors. Okay, so the objective is fill the whole plane. You can either start in the middle if you're gonna be doing a circular or radial design like a mandala. If you're gonna be doing something more linear stripes, you can go um, and place your work landscape or portrait. And I'm gonna be doing the actual landscape that she did. And um, this is like a spacecape actually of the Apollo mission. So I am going to approach it that way. First, I'm gonna mix some of my paints together to get the colors that I need in order to create this picture using some of that water that is sitting in the oval. I'm not scrubbing the paint that's actually in the oval. I'm just picking up the water that's in there. There we go. We'll see how dark this turns out to be. If I end up needing some more paint, I might go directly from the oval onto my picture, but we'll see. And my advice is start at the top. If you're doing something like landscape from top to bottom, start at the top so you're not dragging your hand through the water over and over. Okay, let's see what this looks like. This is gonna be a little too dark, so I'm gonna lighten it up. I know this because I just tested it on another little piece of paper. I'm gonna add a little purple to it too so I can get it more pinky red than just, um, a bright red. Okay, let's see how that is. That's better. Here we go.
All right, so as you're working, you're gonna find that you need to change your color. So add a little bit to what you're working with. So you can see I'm adding a little bit more pigment to my water to get a change in the color. And also keep in mind, you're trying to make this like a mosaic. So you really don't want your colors to run into one another. Um, it, to, you know, you try to avoid that, but you do the best that you can. And having this brush kind of helps make these little rectangular strokes going back and forth right here. If you do not wet your paper first, the paint will stay exactly right where you are working and it won't shift around and move around and bleed into other parts and other colors. So just try your best to work with a nice dry brush. And if you need to work like I'm doing this, I always travel from the right to the left because I'm a righty, it's just easier for me to do that. Then give it a try. All right, have fun painting, making your color field. Keep your brush strokes tight and close to one another. And I look forward to seeing all of your beautiful work when you guys are done. Good luck.